Hey everyone, I um, just wanted to give a quick update to the power solution video that I had uploaded a couple of months ago. Um, in the comments, people had um, expressed concern about what would happen if you sent a 9 volt current into a camera like the A7S. Um, like I said in that video, I've used 9 volts to power this camera and it's worked just fine as far as I can tell. Um, but I understand people being concerned and not wanting to harm their equipment. Um, because I'm not an electrical engineer, I couldn't answer the question of is this camera able to just regulate that voltage on its own or would it actually harm the camera over the long term. Um, I reached out to Sony through email to ask them what they thought about using 9 volt power to power this camera. And the response I got was basically just, we can only recommend using Sony branded accessories with your device. And that makes sense, they just don't want me screwing up the the camera that I have because I'm trying to do something that's not tested. Um, and again, because I don't know the answer myself, I didn't want to risk hurting my camera anymore in the future. So I did some research and found um, you can get DC voltage regulators. They're super tiny. It's like about that big. Actually, it's this big. Um, and this particular one that I got is waterproof. It's actually designed for um, a boat. You'd put it in your boat to be able to power a light or you know, power a device of some kind off of the boat's battery, which is 12 volts. Um, but it's, it's super tiny and super simple. It's got these two wires, um, an input and an output, uh, just positive and negative, positive and negative. And so what I did is I took one of the DC uh, power cables that comes with the battery. Each one comes with one, so I had a few lying around. And I just snipped it in the middle and cut off some excess so I didn't have this huge cord going around. Um, and then connected it to the appropriate wires and taped it back up. And just to make sure I was doing this all correctly, I took the normal power cord that came with the battery and plugged it in and then took my multimeter and measured the voltage coming out. And found out that when the battery was set to 12 volts, it would actually send out a little bit over 12 volts. Um, when it was set to 9 volts, it would send out a little over 9 volts, which is to be expected. So then I plugged in the cable that had the regulator attached to it, turned it on, and regardless of which voltage the battery was set out, I would get 7.5 volts coming out. And it would just stay there, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I needed. Um, the batteries that come with the Sony cameras send out, I believe, 7.4 volts. So sending it 7.5 volts is totally within a safe range um, that the camera can handle. So what that tells me is that the regulator is working. And what's great is because it's so tiny, um, it's easy to just hide somewhere on my rig. What I actually did is I ended up buying this, uh, um, it's like a, a conduit box. I don't know exactly what it's for. Um, buying this at a hardware store and this thing fits inside and I'm not gonna do it right now, but you can just tuck all the wires inside and it comes with a little uh, lid that's actually got a seal on it. So when this is all put together properly, each end of this wire will, one end will come out here, one end will come out here, and then this just attaches with Velcro onto the top of my battery. So it doesn't actually take up a whole lot more space and it doesn't barely even add any more weight. Um, so for me at least, it's a really good workaround that allows me to use this cheap, uh, high capacity battery without worrying about harming my camera. And uh, hopefully, it's a solution that you guys can use as well if you're worried about that. Um, and again, it's, it's super cheap and really easy to set up. Um, it was like $8. So I would recommend going out and trying it. The link for what exactly I bought is in the description. So look there if you want to get the same thing I did. And uh, yeah, have fun shooting.